who's ready to rock today, Fire Nation? JLD here and welcome, bienvenidos to EO Fire, where I chat with entrepreneurs who are on fire seven days a week and everybody's scared of losing, but in my book, I teach you how to finally win. Visit howtofinallywin.com to learn how to create your dream life one step at a time. Now let's chat with today's featured guest, Ryan Gorman. Ryan, are you prepared to ignite? Absolutely, sir. Let's make it happen. (laughs) Ryan's an inventor, entrepreneur, and musician residing in Franklin, Tennessee. He creates products that can be patented and then takes them to market, as well as helping other entrepreneurs do the same. Ryan, take a minute, fill in the gaps from that intro, and give us just a little glimpse of your personal life. Awesome. Thank you, JLD. So my background, uh, I started out in the music industry. I toured for about 10 years, uh, worked with a lot of multi-platinum and Grammy-winning artists. I visited 49 out of 50 states in about 35 countries until I uh, actually married our tour bus driver's stepdaughter, and then that was the end of touring. Uh, Started the family, settled here in Nashville, and then kicked off the business with the patents and uh, a few various other businesses in there. Uh, Also a huge Tesla fan. And I just seem to have a knack for finding myself in very unique situations. Well, give us one unique situation you think would be interesting. A great example is uh, when I first got engaged, uh, I was actually on tour in Germany. And then I had a, uh, a festival in London. And my, my now wife uh, flew over and surprised me. And uh, it's a funny story, but we're standing on the side of the stage watching a band called Soundgarden. And I feel somebody stand next to me and I look over and it is Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. <laughs> and I not, you know, it's kind of elbow my wife and I'm like, babe, that's that's Jimmy Page. And she's like, the grandpa. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like face palm moment. But, um, you know, just very, very interesting situations, um, you know, landed my first uh, studio gig with a you know Grammy winning multi platinum band just by sitting in a sushi restaurant. You know the producer happened to just walk down and sit next to me, and uh, we struck up a conversation. And he needed somebody who had the exact skill set and certifications that I had. So boom, you know, a few days later, I'm sitting in a studio. Fire Nation, we never know when opportunities are going to arise. So just put yourselves in situations and be open to the universe. And Ryan, what would you say today your area of expertise is? Today, my area of expertise is dealing with patents uh, and prototyping, 3D printing, really just creating products um, that people, you know, you can't just go on Alibaba and buy it and, you know, be kind of under the uh, control of the, you know, commodities and, and, you know, private labeling things that anybody can go do that. So we actually really focus on creating patentable products, taking them to market, and uh, most people don't realize that you can actually do this without having the patent issued. So you've got, you know, a year, year and a half that you can test the, mo- you know, test the market, test the waters and see how that works without having to fully invest in the patent. So beyond that, let's dig a little bit deeper. What's something sure. that we as entrepreneurs don't know about patents that we probably should? Not necessarily the patent process, but what I think a lot of people don't really realize yet, and it's coming in a hurry, is that with the uh, rapid increase in 3D printing technology, is that you can have a prototype from an idea in your head in literally a a matter of hours. You can go online. There are several different uh, 3D printing softwares that are free, and you know if you can visit YouTube University for a few hours and teach yourself how to do this. You can create basic prototypes of products in hours and, you know, get that fit and feel and and touch it and see it and see if it's something that you really like. And beyond that, then you can, you know, uh, move into actually creating the product. So, Ryan, you're not always standing next to Jimmy Page at a Soundgarden concert. I mean, you've had your (laughs) struggles. You've had your obstacles. You've had your tough moments, too. And I want to talk about one of those. Take us to your worst entrepreneurial moment to date. Tell us that story. That is actually fairly recently as far as the entrepreneurial moment. Um, So when we moved to Nashville, I started uh, a business with a couple partners. And I like uh, I don't remember the exact phrase you say, but it ends in I like a lot of ships, but I don't like partnerships. (laughs) Um, That there was like the biggest, you know, bell ding in my head when you said that, because it just perfectly resonates with this story. But um, if I have any partnership moving forward, I will absolutely do a background check on whoever that is I'm starting a business with. 
because as it turns out, I started this business with a couple partners, one of them who turned out to have been a felon, uh, previously convicted for fraud, and uh, he totally tanked our business. Uh, he is now currently in jail. What? Um, but it just totally tanked, you know, a year of our time and money and uh, awful, just absolutely awful. So be careful, be extremely careful with who you go into business with. Well, looking back, what's something that you would have done that would have avoided that situation? Or what's the specific advice you would give to our listeners so they can avoid that situation? If you're really starting a partnership and it's it's something that you see, you know, seven, eight figure income, absolutely take the time and the money to, you know, do a background check on this person. Find out who they are. Um because it's very easy for someone to change a name and, you know, then you don't know who they actually were. Did this person change his name? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Totally changed his name. I mean, he went through a lot of different uh, efforts to to hide his past. And not saying that you can't come back from from having been convicted for something, um, but this guy did not. And, wow. and it just, you know, we started to sniff it pretty quick. But uh, by the time we found, you know, really what was going on, it was far too late. Well, Ryan, let's kind of shift now and talk about another story. This is one of the greatest ideas that you had to date. Bring us to that aha moment. Tell us that story. My biggest aha moment kind of goes back to the whole 3D printing thing. That was when my eyes really opened up. Uh, At the time, I was, this is one of the only actual jobs that I'd ever had, but I was working with a a company and my actual role was graphic design and web design, but I was doing a lot of their product design just because I naturally use the products that they make. And when I left this company, um, I really, there were a lot of ideas that I had that I had not started there and had not taken those to market. So I thought, why not, uh, you know, try that on my own and see if I can. So that was when I just on a whim bought my first 3d printer. Uh, it was just a few hundred bucks and it was like, you could print a four inch by four inch by four inch cube basically. Um, but that little four inch by four inch cube has completely changed my life. Um, That is something that, you know, now I have, you know, millions of dollars worth of printing equipment right at my fingertips I can use. And and I've created a whole lot of products in in a business outside of that, uh, you know, specifically off of what I learned off that little four hundred dollar deal. So, you know how we're kind of going throughout our days and we're like, oh, man, I really wish that I had this in my life. And does a 3D printer allow you to just go ahead and like make that thing? Yeah, it it really does. Like, uh, (laughs) you know, I'm. This is kind of a little odd, but I'm a, a huge space nerd and, okay. and a Tesla fan. And I find myself, um, you know, wanting to consume as much content as I can. So even when I'm, you know, on my desk working, I have a documentary or something playing just in the background, kind of just, you know, monotonous stuff that keeps you, you know, occupied. So you're just not in silence. And uh, to keep my phone at the right angle where I needed it, I just measured the height of my desk and, you know, five minutes, drew something up, printed it out. And uh, now I have a phone holder that perfectly fits on my desk. (laughs) So anything you can dream up, uh, you can make it. Basically, make your life perfect. That's what 3D printing does, Fire Nation. So anything you need, and it's you start finding yourself looking for stuff. So that's when you got to be careful. It's like <laughs> maybe maybe I need a new knob here. You know, I want to put my initials in this uh, in my dryer timer or something. You know, you, you can take it too far. I love it. So let's talk about today, Ryan. You have a lot of cool things going on. You have your 3D printer going twenty four seven. What's the one thing that you're most fired up about today? The main thing that I'm fired up about is that I have a few mentors that are just absolutely mind-boggling, smart, and awesome people. And every time that I sit down with them, I leave a smarter person than when I got there. And and seriously, I look forward, like I'm going to meet one or or maybe even two of them tomorrow. Uh, I meet, uh, there's basically three main ones, and I meet them at least once a week. And it's just amazing. And it, it keeps me fired up because every time I leave, you know, I really do learn every single time I go there. Fire Nation, Ryan's been dropping value bombs this entire interview and more are coming in the lightning round. So don't you go anywhere because when we get back from thanking our sponsors, the bombs will continue. 
Gone are the days when you being in an office tied to a desk and a telephone are required, especially thanks to Grasshopper. Grasshopper allows you to run your business from your cell phone, giving you and your team complete control no matter where you are. You can think of it like the entrepreneur's phone system, whether you're watching your kid's soccer game, out shopping for the holidays, or working remotely. Grasshopper's iPhone and Android apps help you stay connected to your customers. Plus, it's super easy to set up. All you have to do is choose a local toll-free or vanity toll-free number and forward your new number to your mobile phone. You can start taking calls immediately and send and receive texts from your business number, set up multiple extensions for everyone on your team. You can even get your voicemails transcribed and emailed to you. Be professional, responsive, and efficient with Grasshopper. Get your business phone number today. Visit grasshopper.com slash fire and get $20 off your first month. That's grasshopper.com slash fire. If you're not much of a designer but are looking for ideas for your next logo, website design, or even your new business cards, then Design Crowd can help. Design Crowd gives you access to over 550,000 creative minds from around the world who will help you come up with your next design. Plus, Design Crowd makes it super simple. All you have to do is submit your brief, and then designers will begin submitting quality designs for you to review, provide some constructive feedback, and you can quickly generate multiple designs you love that fit your needs. Why pay expensive fees and wait weeks for for an agency to pitch an idea when you can have exactly what you need within just three days. Design Crowd is so confident that if you don't like any of the submitted designs, they'll give you your money back. Visit designcrowd.com slash fire for a $100 VIP offer for Fire Nation. That's D-E-S-I-G-N-C-R-O-W-D dot com slash fire. Designcrowd.com slash fire. Ryan, are you ready to rock the lightning rounds? Let's do it. What was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? Really what was holding me back was being self-employed. And I know that sounds crazy, but the two are absolutely not the same. Uh, while I was in the music industry, it was, uh, I, you know, I had no control over my time or schedule. I was on planes all the time. Um, so, you know, a lot of time went by and a lot of cool things were done. But that's not really scalable or, you know, you don't really own it, so to speak. You're just a, you're, you're a cog in the wheel, so to speak. What's the best advice you've ever received? People are either assets or liabilities. And we need more assets, fewer liabilities. Draw a line in the sand, figure out which side people are on, and dedicate your time and energy to those that help you and push you forward. Now, a lot of people listening right now, Ryan, are thinking of the liabilities in their life. I mean, they are. You are Fire Nation. I know you are. What's something that we can do to gently push these liabilities lower down our totem pole? There's actually a, a, a TED Talk that is great, and it's called The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Blank uh, by Sarah Knight. And it, it, it's about 12 minutes long, and if you go watch that, you'll fully understand what I'm referring to. Love it. What's a personal habit that contributes to your success? I am an evergreen student at Tesla University. Uh, while I am a musician, I do not listen to music while I drive. I listen to podcasts. I listen to uh, audio books, YouTube videos. Um, like I can tell you, I have listened to every single EO Fire episode what? since probably May of last year literally every single day. Wow. That's over 400 episodes. Yeah. And I tell you what, I've learned a lot from it too. <laughs> but I, I do that because I, I just don't listen. You know, while you drive, that's so much wasted time if you're just listening to the same four chord song over and over. And this is coming from a musician, Fire Nation, somebody who loves music. Speaking of which, this is random, but have you watched that video on YouTube about the four chords and how they like create so many different songs in this world it has like 37 million views? Yes, absolutely. And you know, I've, I've, seen it happen a lot too. And wow. I've had that happen where I've had to fill in uh, with musicians on tour and they want to teach me their songs. And it's like, you know, it's the same thing. <laughs> so. What do we, what do we type in Google to find that? I mean, I, I think if you just type in four chord songs, like that might come up, but do you know a better way? That's probably the best way to find it. I mean, I can put a link on the uh, page that I'm going to have for you guys. Yeah, you do that too. We'll both do that. But it's worth it, Fire Nation. You'll have a lot of fun. And Absolutely. In fact, whenever I get together with my friends and we're, you know, hanging out, like just doing whatever, I mean, I will put that song on the background because it's like a six or seven minute song and it's just all the best songs and it's, it's fun to listen to. Recommend one book and share why. The book I would recommend is Six Months to Six Figures by Peter Vogt. Uh, it really helps get your mindset on track. Uh, it makes you aware of the things that you're doing right and the things you're doing wrong. And it's not necessarily like a 
you know, like uh, sell your stuff on Amazon or create a Facebook ads company. It's really just an overall mindset, getting you conditioned to do whatever it is that you want to do. He's a great example of somebody who's actually been able to build an amazing brand and business off of a successful book launch. So uh, definitely worth reading that book or listening to the audio version because uh, he rocks it there as well. You can check that out at eofirebook.com. And Peter's actually been a repeat guest on EO Fire. Definitely recommend listening to those episodes. He's a very young, energized, value bomb drop and entrepreneur. And Ryan, I want to end today on fire, brother, with you giving us a parting piece of guidance, then sharing the best way that we can connect with you. And uh, then we'll say bye-bye. Selling products, you know, even private label products, it's a great way to earn income, but you really don't have any control over the, you know, the red ocean, blue ocean, if that's all you're doing. So, um, you know, whether you want to work with me or not is regardless, but go out there, create new products, ideas, you know, everybody has ideas in their head. And just like you say to niche down, do the same thing with physical products. You can create things very quick, get a patent pending, put it out there and see what happens. It doesn't take a lot of time and, and money to make that happen. In a parting piece of guidance. Go back to the assets and liabilities. If you're not elevating yourself daily, you are uh, descending daily. So make sure that you surround yourself with people that are like-minded and uh, have the same outlook on life that you do. And watch that TED Talk video. Again, Ryan, what was that girl's name? Uh, Sarah Knight, and I have that linked on the uh, on the page as well. Oh, well, tell us that page too. That is landsharkmedia.com slash fire. Landsharkmedia.com slash fire. Get over there, Fire Nation. Ryan's gonna have a lot of cool stuff linked up over there. And you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. I mean, it's kind of been a theme of this episode today. And you've been hanging out with RG and JLD today. So keep up the heat and head over to eofire.com. If you type Ryan in the search bar, his show notes page will pop up. And this is the best show notes in the biz fire nation. Timestamps of our conversation, links galore. It's going to be a great place for you to hang out. And Ryan, thank you for sharing your journey with fire nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Well, thank you. Hey, fire nation. Hope you enjoyed our chat with Ryan today. And it's time to accomplish your number one goal. And it's time to put a timeline on that. How about 100 days? Visit thefreedomjournal.com. Use promo code FREEDOM. No, actually use promo code PODCAST. It's going to give you a bigger discount. And I will catch you there or I'll catch you on the flip side. Gone are the days when you being in an office tied to a desk and telephone are required, especially thanks to Grasshopper. Grasshopper allows you to run your business from your cell phone, giving you and your team complete control no matter where you are. Be professional, responsive, and efficient with Grasshopper. Get your business phone number today. Visit grasshopper.com slash fire to get $20 off your first month.